So let's t- <clears throat> so let's take a look at this Bears tape. Um, you know, same concept as as the last video. Let's take a look at Jalen, and we'll take a look at the D line, and we'll take a look at tackling, and just see what we can get from. I'm watching this raw, not gonna be very much editing here, but um, let's see what's going on here. Um, strong side is uh oh boy, that's bad. So. I don't know what made Robert Quinn want to cut inside like this, want to just cross the face of this tackle here. I don't know. Was it somebody on the outside that was going to give him some support over there? Like, nah, I look like Joe was in coverage. Yeah, Joe was in coverage. So I don't know what made Robert Quinn want to cross face like this, but him getting into B gap or whatever, like that <laughs> set this wall up here for uh, David Montgomery to just run through. After that, it was him and Jalen Smith in his foot race. We see how that worked out. Byron came over off his block late. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. But um, yeah, man, I I would like for us to get two two defensive ends that can set the um set the tone and the run, and then we deal with passing later. That would be more so something I, I would want to do. <clears throat> And we just get washed here. Again, Robert Quinn. Ooh, Robert Quinn getting washed inside. Not getting off the block. Christian Covington getting washed inside. I want Christian Covington to be so much better. Not getting off blocks. Malik. Not getting off blocks. Let's see. And yeah, Jalen kind of took that cheese, got on his block. And, you know, once you get hands on him, that's, that's ball game. But we got to tackle better here. Why was the what was the angle like? Oh yeah, Sean. Okay, so Sean was the read man. So yeah, yeah. So we need Xavier Woods to come up and make a tackle. We need guys to get off blocks, basically. And that's just a good run by um, by Montgomery here. He just took old Xavier Woods on on a little ride there. That's bad, man. Let's keep moving though. Let's keep moving. See what's going on here. <clears throat> Let's see. I want Darren Thompson off the field so bad, but you know, that's where Jeff Heath would be. But <laughs> you know, y'all are trying to get Jeff off the bridge too. So we made a play by yeah. Robert Quinn made a play chasing the thing backside, getting flat down the line of scrimmage, making a play. I ain't mad at you. Look at how big this right tackle looks on Demarcus Lawrence. Who the hell is this guy? I don't keep up with the bears. Pardon me. I probably know his name if, if somebody said it, but who's the right tackle for the bears? Holy shit. Anyway. Um, okay. Okay. Malik kind of helped in there too. Am I wrong? Did Malik kind of, yeah. Okay. Sure. And Chris Cousins got blocked. Yeah. All right. But when Xavier Woods sees that it's a run play, uh, we'll keep our eyes on Xavier Woods and and him reading these run plays here. We'll just we'll just keep eyes on it and just see what happens moving forward. We'll see. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this play though. Let's take a look at this. Yo, boy, we just letting Mitch throw the ball all day, huh? <laughs> Whatever. Let's move on to the next play. What else? Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Hey, y'all gonna start playing on my son. Uh, let's not look at him first because we're not here to look at Tristan Hill first. Let's take a look at Jalen Smith and see what he did. He followed the motion. Okay, no. We ain't even fake to the motion guy. He just coming across. He just coming across to block the backside in. Yeah, we ain't even do a fake motion at the. Uh, we ain't do a fake at the uh, at the jet sweep guy. So. Yeah, he's not a jet sweep guy. He's just a uh, a pull and kick blocker. But Jalen shouldn't be over here. Sean Lee shouldn't be over here neither. Like, why are they both over here? Like, Mitch had his back turned to this guy that's in motion. Like, uh, I don't like that. But oh boy, thank God the rookie was here. Way to stand your ground, son. Now I don't like Tristan Hill playing one tick. Let's just get that there. He's not naturally built to be there. He's too small to be there. He's not strong enough to be there. He works better in one-on-one uh, situations where he's he's more explosive um, in B-gap. But he made the play right there. Mm. Good play, young Tristan. 
Christian Covington gonna run himself out to play. That don't help nobody. Um, Darren Thompson gonna get blocked. Robert Quinn putting his head down, getting washed out to play. Sean Lee, he stays at home to cut this thing inside, so I ain't mad at him. If Sean Lee's going to be the guy that bounces um, Montgomery back inside, I ain't mad at it. But then somebody should tackle Montgomery when he gets there. Um, but that's too many yards, though. I think the problem is, one of the big problems is that Jalen's getting blocked now. And then you got to deal with blockers. Like, I know Van Der Esch can't deal with blockers really well, but Jalen don't deal with blockers very well neither. He's better moving forward than he is standing still. But, boy, when guys get hands on Jalen, it's, it's kind of bad for him. But if – who's this at one tech? If our one tech was more dominant right here, then the center wouldn't just leave him, you know. When I was playing center, you know, or just, you know, just on the offensive line in general, some things that we would communicate to, you know, to each other that if this was a play that called for a combo, but I felt like I could block this dude by myself, I just tell you to go ahead to second level. I'm fine. You know what I mean? That's a rough thing to tell somebody. If you were, <laughs> if you were D tackle, that's a rough thing. You know what I mean? If you feel like this offensive line can block you by yourself, um, if this was a nasty one, like if this was like like Aaron Donald, like Aaron is a three tech, he plays defensive end sometimes. But if this was like Aaron Donald in a gap, I guarantee you this guy that the center wouldn't have left the the uh, the guard alone. But it was Christian Covington, so he did, and that got the center on second level on Jalen Smith real quick, and you know that opened up a bunch of space and opportunity in terms of block making. Um, and you know J. Lou came in out of frame to make his tackle, so shouts out to him. See what happens here. Uh, uh. <laughs> Taglin, <laughs> shout out to Coach Baldwin. Taglin is one of my old coaches, but uh, he was a D line coach. But hey, Taglin, that's Joe Thomas, that's Cheeto. You know, Darian got to come over here. Jalen got to jump over on top of people, man. It, it shouldn't take all that. <laughs> it shouldn't take all that. If anything, the the second and third guy should be cleaning up, but. That was rough, my guy. That was rough. I mean, not to say that Joe is terrible or he's been playing terrible. It's just that that was a bad play by Joe. That's a bad play by Joe. What happened here? Um, Carey got washed inside. Um, Covington getting smoked. God. Ah! I ain't trying to cuss because of my audience. I know I got four people in my audience that wouldn't appreciate me cussing right there. But look at Christian Covington just on the ground. They just picking on him. That ain't good for your health. Then Kerry Hyder eventually got on the ground. They got a two for two. They they went two for two with our tackles right here. My goodness, boy! If Michael Bennett and 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 Pochito wouldn't have came up and made that tackle, there was plenty of space and opportunity up the middle to put hands on us. The way I see it. I think we should invest in our D-line like we invested in our offensive line, you know, spending the first-round picks and, you know, even Lael was a first-round talent, you know. Connor's a second-round pick, but, you know, first-round talent, so to speak. He's still developing, but he was a first-round talent in the in the um, draft process or whatever. Uh, Ron Leary was a first-round talent. Doug Free was relatively a day one early, day two type talent or whatever. And we drafted those guys. Like, we drafted those guys in-house. Um, boy, Leo was acquired by us. But I think we should put that kind of time into drafting our defensive linemen. You know, like, we don't have first-round picks on this D-line. I mean, like a 30-year-old version of what our first-round pick would be. But, like, as, as far as us spending a first-round pick, like – we don't do that. Like Malik was a third. Um, Randy is a first round talent. He was in the second round, but you know, you know, he's he's going through through life right now. Antoine Woods was picked up off the Titans practice squad. Um, Christian Christian Covington was picked up off the streets. Kerry Hyder was picked up off the streets. You know what I mean? Like I kind of want to invest properly in this thing into this D line thing. You know what I mean? It's kind of wild, bro. And Taco didn't 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 work out for us, but. <sighs> that's the way it is. That's the way. That's Phil Collins, by the way. <clears throat> oh, let's see what happened on this mess. Let's see all the tackles we missed on on this debacle here. Let's see what happened. Let's see. Whoa. Ugh. I can't hate on D-Law. first time I seen him do it. Um, Tristan made the play. Uh, 
Yeah, Tristan was first on the play, but hey, bring that dude down behind the line of scrimmage, Tristan. If you if you if you make that play, it's like four less yards right there. So Tristan make that play. How did Tristan get free though? Let's see what happened to him. He's in one take that I don't like. He just kind of boom, 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 was led, got flat, good angle. I got you. Finish the play, though. Finish the play, though, young Christian. Uh, young Tristan. <clears throat> and Jalen got blocked, and Malik finishes, and J. Lou. Yeah, okay, cool. <clears throat> All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, this was a good play. Let's see what happened on this good play. Let's see what happened on this good play. Sean Lee pushes Robert Quinn. No, who is this in B Gap that made a play? Christian Covington made this play. About time! Christian Covington made a play. <laughs> ah, damn, man. About time we got a play from uh from Christian Covington. About time. And boy, you could tell that the Rams thought we was whack because the I'm not the Rams, the Bears. Because I follow the Bears because I foolishly have some of their players in fan, in fantasy football. And the Rams, not the Rams, the Bears. The Bears don't believe in running the football properly. You know, when they should be giving the ball to David Montgomery, they'll rather give that thing to Cordell Patterson or something. Or when they own like the goal line, they'll give it to Tariq Cohen or, you know, they'll throw it to a left guard or some you know or some instead of throwing it to their their um stud running back that they got in the third round from Iowa State. That's what they like to do. But playing against us though, they say, man, look, we're gonna run the ball on Dallas. I think if every team lines up and say, hey man, we're gonna run the ball on Dallas. I think that's what they're gonna do. And until we stop it, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. And <clears throat> you know would it be better if our defense put our offense in situations where they don't have to drive the ball as much? Absolutely. But um, that's currently not the case. So we just got to deal with the cards that we have been dealt. Our our defense gives up yards. They give up less points than yards. But as of late, they begin more points too, though. So let's not, you know, make that narrative. But um, every time the offense get the ball, we got to start from the 20 or inside the five. That's just the reality, you know. That's the reality. Chris Cubs, what's going on, fam? What's what's the deal here? Uh, okay. Jalen Smith, what's the deal here? What you what you got? What you got there, J Jalen Smith? Okay. Could have made that tackle a little earlier, but I ain't gonna hate you. What about Malik backside? What are you doing? Getting double. Hey, if Malik gonna get double and Bennett's gonna run free, then Bennett make the play. Bennett was close enough to making the play, so I ain't mad at that. I ain't terribly mad at that. I just want all these things to happen at or behind the line of scrimmage. That's my only gripe. Right? I'm gonna watch a few more plays. And I'm gonna get up out of here. A few more plays, and I'm gonna get up out of here. They holding the hell out of Malik though. But I ain't gonna trip because Malik getting held ain't ain't why we lost the game. Um, Quinn backside sure. Jalen. <laughs> Jalen get blocked a lot, man. I, I, that's something I ain't been seeing as much. Uh, or something I'm seeing more now now than I've ever seen. Jalen's getting blocked a bunch this year. Like, what's that about? <clears throat> I can't stand it. I don't know. But let's take a, let's, uh, take a look, see. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, buddy. Like, we have the capabilities of being a solid defense. We have the talent to be a – because, look, at this point, like, we ain't got to worry about being a top-five defense or whatever. I ain't worried about us, you know, being a top-five defense. But I do think the playoffs is all about runs, and this offense is talented enough to just cut their little switch on. Whatever little switch that we have off, you ever just flip through the breaker box to find out which switch was off? Once the offense finds out which switch was off and they switch that thing back on, it will be fine on offense. We can be able to put points up on any team in the league. I really do feel that way. Um but the defense just can't get us killed. The defense just can't give us like those long yards, man. Like that, like that um, Jordan Lewis interception. I love the fact that we got a turnover, but boy, I did not want my offense to have the ball at the one yard line. That's bad business. I, I, I hated it. I couldn't stand it. Um, but hey, that's the that's the car wheels dealt. We can't complain, <clears throat> and we can't complain. All right, so I'm getting up out of here, man. Uh, I ain't I ain't I ain't got time for the recreational sadness. But um. Hey, we're going to be watching film, though, to the end of the year. 
uh, whatever happens, whether we make the playoffs or whether we get a high draft pick, we're still going to cover this thing. And then when draft season gets here, that's when I get to um, do my draft thing. That's what I originally was. So y'all um, y'all tune into that. But uh, we got Patreon. We got Twitter. We got all those. We got this week. We got Discord. That's Vach Lombardi. Everything V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. We're going to be doing merch giveaways for every tier on Patreon, not just the $10 tier. We're going to give back to the block and the community so y'all be sure to tune in for that and um what else we got there and yeah we're gonna be doing like post game streams or whatever assuming uh i'm not in mississippi or in mississippi business um you know coming up or whatever but if i'm in town we're gonna be doing a post game stream for the next game which will be the the rams hope we pull that one off all right y'all y'all hold down for the doski woski till next time peace my cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year. Or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Sticks, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.